Gentlemen, welcome back to the wilderness. Once more, we find ourselves in this money-soaked wonderland where you can make a ton of money while bringing completely scuffed gear. But things have changed since the last time we spoke, and it's once more time to find out just how we can safely and effectively do Wilderness Slayer by doing every wilderness task in old school RuneScape. Enjoy. Alrighty, so Abyssal Demons, quite possibly the most profitable and dangerous task you can do in the Slayer Cave. And we are going to be risking a little bit. Like, we are going to be risking 1.3 mil on the way there, but the cannon's like 750k, so it's going to be closer to 500k, I believe. Like, if I just, if I just set it up right now. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just, we just, we just, we just, we just set it up, right? And uh, like, then we have, have a good old look at the risk. What are we risking now? Yeah, we're literally risking 500k, so most of the risk is in this thing. And I've got the the essence, the Reverend Ether in my inventory just to, to show what you would lose if you would die. And then we're going to use 300 Blighted Ice Stacks. There's a little bit of a debate here. You can either use Blighted Ice Stacks on Abyssal Demons, or you can use Smoke Barrage, or any other Barrage spell. But Smoke Barrage is the cheapest, and it poisons them. And the benefit of using Smoke Barrage over Blighted Ice Stacks is, is that they won't get stuck, and so they won't teleport you to you, to them as much. So... Little argument there on which one is better. Uh, this is a lot. This is cheaper to use than just bringing the raw runes for smoke barrage, but it's still it's not that bad. Like smoke barrage is usually like 700, 800 gold to cast, and these are how much are blood aspects? They're 500 gold. So you're saving 300 gold to cast, but uh, doesn't matter. Abyssal demons shit Laren's keys. They just shit them. So we're gonna get those things, and I'll let me show you how to get there real quick. You just take your and this is the inventory setup as well. And these are the items. I'll, I'll go over the items and stuff real quick, too. So, you want your Slayer Helm, your Occult Necklace, and your Curse Scepter as your risk items. Those are your risk items. You can bring a fourth one if you want to, but this I, I generally never do that because, like, what if you get smited or something or you just forget that you put on Protect Item? Totally happens. Totally is a thing that will happen to you if you do that. That will absolutely happen to you. So you want to bring your art, and then, so you bring rags and everything else. I, I leverage, I have all the diaries completed, so I completely leverage diary gear as much as possible. It's so insanely good. Like the arty cloak, plus six prayer bonus and mage bonus, and uh, just a cr crazy cloak. And look at this fashion scape, the purple with the red, it all comes together here, boys. And then you get, this is free, this is free, all these items are free, and you can alk stuff too while you're at ancient, so it's just gravy, gravy, this setup is gravy for abyssal demons, if you can get there without being killed, that's the biggest risk, is running there while being killed. Let's go do that right now. Alright, and we're here, and all you do is you just set up, you do pray melee and protect item, then you just set up your cannon, yeah, just like that. And then uh, I have all these squ squ uh, squares marked because that's the 30 level 30 right. And then you just chill down here and let the cannon pull all of them. I can't do this task right now because like I can't even attack these guys because uh, I'm not on a Slayer task. This is where you'd go, and the cannon would group them up, and then you just chill over here, bounce around, and then just barrage these things. It's crazy. This accursed scepter is only like 2.6 mil or something. It'll probably be 3 mil by the time. Like anybody watches this video, but that's fine. It's so worth it. Completely and utterly worth it. This is an extremely dangerous task, though. So Abyssal Demons will teleport you over this line all the time, and uh, if you're gonna die on any task, this is the one. And most other tasks of the Wilderness Slayer Dungeon Cave, super safe. Not a problem at all. all right, let's pick this up and get out of here. Alrighty, now let's do some Ankus. Now, here's the setup I'll be using for Ankus. You can either use Proselyte or use Black Dragonhide. They cost virtually the same. Like, I believe Dra Black Dragonhide is 1k more expensive than Prosy. So you can either choose to have longer trips or be safer from PKers. Up to you. Totally up to you. This is all what Wilderness Slayer is all about. It's assessing your risk versus reward. Also, we are risking 843k on the way there, and if we drop the cannon... We're risking, or should be risking like about 650k less, should be about 200k. About 200k. Let's have a look here. Yeah, about 200k exactly. So, and if we protect that, which we should be, we're only risking 150k if we die. And that's with 740 cannonballs on us. Alright, so if we just pick this back up. Yeah, now we're back to risking 850k. That's only while we're going over there. And 
Fun fact about Ankus is you don't need a Slayer Helm because the Salve Amulet E provides a stronger bonus. 20% as opposed 20% accuracy and damage, whereas the Slayer Helm only provides 15% accuracy and damage. So you can use this, so with some tasks in the wilderness, you can leverage this to just adjust your risk a little bit. And I assume everyone's like not overflowing with money. So this is this is a super cheap setup. Whips are only a mil. You can swap this out for a Zami Hosta if you want more synergy with your our Dugan cloak, but uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty good stuff. So you don't have to bring a Slayer Helm, you can just bring a Salve. And the Salves are free, they're super cheap. You can make a whole inventory of them super easy. Yeah, let's get out there. All right, and we're here. We're gonna protect melee and protect uh, protect item, and we're gonna set up our cannon. And like, you can bring a wielded weapon instead of a whip, but uh, the, mo the most important wieldy weapon you're going to bring is the cannon. The other, th the other stuff is totally up to you, because if you're canning a task, I mean, you're going to be blazing through it fast no matter what. It doesn't, doesn't, it's, it won't feel much different. It just depends on what you want to risk. If you want to bring a wieldy weapon, absolutely acceptable. A Vigorous Chain Mace, incredible. Incredible item. It'll help you level faster. It'll help you, s like, slap down bosses. But totally not necessary. Totally not necessary. But yeah, you just and this is this is a super super chill task. Just you just whip him down. Look, I can do this off task even, and it's actually more effective because of this salve amulet. Anyway, moving on. Alrighty, avian seas. Now the problem with avian seas is that they are in the God Wars dungeon up here. Nope, here. Yes, here. They are here. They are right here. And fun fact about the God Wars dungeon. Nobody wants to do Slayer tasks in the God Wars dungeon. There are no benefits, no bonuses, no extra Larian's keys, nothing. Anything in the God Wars dungeon is blocked or skipped, or we find a way to finagle around it. And this is how, and this is one of those such times. We shall finagle this task. We shall talk to Crystalia about rewards, and we're going to go to buy. Nope, unlock. Unlock. Let's see this. Make sure watch the birdie is unchecked. Do not check this. This will make your wilderness slayer objectively worse. And you have to go to the God Wars dungeon. Both things that are terrible. Do do not have that checked. So that is how you do aviancies when you're doing wilderness slayer. You do not do them. Alright. Be 100 percent honest here. I totally skipped this task. Uh, bandits are worth 500 gold a piece. Not even. They're like 498. They're literally not even 500 gold a piece. It is like a waste of cannonballs and time. Just you get so many Slayer points from from Wilderness Slayer that you can you could pretty liberally skip stuff. It's pretty great. But if I were to, in theory, do bandits, I definitely wouldn't bring a Wilderness weapon. That's a waste of ether. They they can literally be one shot by the whip. Like do not bring a. It's it's oh, just just mad the amount of waste on this task. It's super quick to get there though. Same inventory as before. You know, bring the, the five blighted uh, manta rays, regular coambuams, and anglers. Two re super re blighted super restores because they're half the price of fucking prayer potions. Like literally, Wilderness Slayer is like the welfare of RuneScape. It's incredible. It's also uh, ironically kind of brutal. Like welfare a little bit. Like you can get fucked over. <laughs> you can we real life stuff. Talking about things that we in a video game. Totally, totally a smart thing to do. Anyway, onwards to the bandit camp. Super quick to get there. You just click on your, your burning amulet, go to the bandit camp. Yep, click two, just get out there, and then they're just right here. They're just right here. You just run over here. You can have auto retaliate on if you want. Have, have some stuff. Yep, they're gonna attack you. You're gonna pray, melee, protect item, standard stuff. We've done this. We did, we did this for AQs, but we were, we're rocking a different setup. Less, less good looking setup, obviously. But yeah, I, I, I love Slayer Helms. They're like my favorite items in the game. Yeah, and you just set up your cannon, do some stuff, and then uh, click the click the cannon button. Yep, yep, all easy. And uh, I don't care if I die out here, because I am risking... Oh, I can't see that walk out in combat? Lame. I mean, look how fast these things die. They just they just die. die. Oh, this, this is a big boy. This is a big boy bandit. We don't like big boy bandits. Big boy bandits are lame. We just, yeah, we just murder everybody. I guess we'll just kill this big boy bandit. This is, th these guys would be, I'm, I'm just gonna, I don't even care about them. I'm just gonna focus the little guys. Let the cannon finish them off organically. Yeah. Now, now we can probably, they're probably worth finishing off. Sit. Hey. Sit. There we go. Yeah. 
Easy task. Uh, very. Look at look at the loot. Look at this money on the ground here, boys. Perfectly. Oh, so good. Oh my God, an emerald. That one actually dropped 500 gold. So that's an average. That's not even like. Oh man, this has to try. Just just skip it. Just skip it. Don't do this task. This is a terrible task. Oh my God, bears. This is such an amazing task. Oh, it's it's just incredible. Like they made killing Ardio not annoying, and then they also made it a requirement of to have the wilderness me mediums done to even do them. So you get way less crashed by bots. It's it's incredible. Like so, it's easier to find worlds, and uh, you're less likely to get crashed by a bot. And you won't have to worry about PKs. And you will get PK'd and murdered here, but it's totally fine. We don't care about that. We're gonna make enough money that uh, we don't care. We don't care. We we're, we're down. Like this is what we're risking. What are we risking right now? We are risking 381k. I do not care if I die. That's including the other. That's why the infrastructure is in my inventory, so you can count that. Because you're gonna lose that if you die. That's pretty much the only thing you're sad about losing. Everything else is fine. All this other stuff is wrecked. Then you get to wreck my signature, gorgeous, sexy setup, and standard inventory. You know, five blighted mantas and normal karams with a blighted angler, two super restores. You want to bring 150 uh, uh, ancient ice axe, and you want to have uh, about 16, 1500 charges in your cursed scepter. You want to carry a langer teleport looting bag, obviously. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna go send it right now. We're gonna go get, go get them. Go get us a bear. Bear kills. Oh my god. Immediately empty. Rewarded. Rewarded. So you want to make for so for RDO, you want to make sure you're praying range, protecting item, and then praying mystic might. You have to, like, you want to have, augur, you can do augury too if you want to be Gucci about it, but you will just burn through prayer pots like crazy. Just like crazy. So yeah, we're going to go in. You, oh, I put it by, I forgot. So we're going to, oh, what? Oh, combat spells. Probably have your combat spells marked out. Oh, yep. Oh, pray mage when he does that. Oh, you have to run from him. Pray range again. Alright, so we're... Oh, I am screwing this up so bad. Freeze him. You want to freeze him while you're moving. So you click and freeze him. And then also we can spec him. So I'm just going to combo eat. And the combo eat is you want to eat a manta first, and then a crown one. And you can eat them both in the same tick. And look at that, I'm full health. And you just mage him down. So hopefully I do the rest of the mechanics properly. And I'm not even on test. So look, he did that. So when he roars, you want to make sure you're moving. And then freeze him while you are moving. That's all you got to do. If you, if you just try to freeze him while you're standing still, he'll be able to get a cheeky melee in. So, oh, you see, we pray mage for this. White balls, pray mage. And then once it connects, then you can switch to range. Well, she's probably going to start moving here in a little bit. So I'm going to get ready to move and switch to mage. All right. Anytime now. Yep, there we go. And then I just move and I click him. And I'm going to move over here. And look at that. He's frozen. There's just little traps over everywhere. It's pretty, pretty easy to do. Oh, there's another. Yep, I'm moving. And then I freeze him. And look at this, another little trick. If you're um, standing next to a trap, you just and you have your run on, and you just clover, you just can remove the trap and take no damage. Easy. Opening sound of pray mage. Yep, just pray mage like that, and go back to praying range. He like maging this guy is so just chill. Yeah, I'm not even on a slayer task. I just brought my slayer helm for, for like I could have brought a better setup. I could have brought tormented bracelets or something so I could actually do better on this guy. But uh, who cares? Like, if you just you could probably come to this guy naked with an accursed scepter and you'd, you'd crush him. Easy, lovely, beautiful task, and you'll make a ton of money at this boss. Alrighty, now we're gonna be doing some black demons. Now you can swap out the whip for an arc light or a wieldy weapon like an Ursine chain mace or something, or a or that bow, the web weaver bow. But uh, I'm gonna bring an abyssal whip, and I'm of course going to bring the ultimate. Well, let, let, let me show you some real quick. Like so, we're risking 236k with this, and then we grab the cannon. Yep cannon grabbed and now we are risking close to a mil and this is the inventory setup I like to bring I like to bring the ash sanctifier because um it's annoying to lose if you die with it it is annoying to die with this you have to go back to Corinne and stuff and talk to the diary guy and stuff and that sucks but man clearing up the abyss free prayer XP free prayer XP it just requires death runes like one death rune equals 10 ashes spread totally totally worth lovely or you can just disable the ashes on your rune light anyway yeah, black, this is a setup I like to use for black demons. Something like this. Pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. Once the cannon's down. Same, same thing as always. We're always going to be using the burning amulet. Go into the chaos temple. And here we are. Once more, we should be protecting melee and protecting item. And also, you don't have to wear a proselyte. You can swap it out for black dragon hide. Not a big deal. And then we just set up our cannon. Just set this bad boy up. And 
Now we just start whipping stuff. Just start whipping stuff. And a pretty pretty good task. This 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 task might benefit more from a wieldy weapon than most. Or an arc light. And just because these are chunky boys. But they're worth. Black demons are worth. They give they give uh, clues and shit. And uh, they have high chance to drop Laren's keys. Lovely task. I think I've made literally millions on this task. Millions and millions of gold. It's good stuff. Oh, no loot. Loot. Anyway, moving on. Alrighty, I have splurged on a nursing chain mace. So I love the Abyssal Bludgeon. Because I wanted to show you something for black dragons. You can stab with a, a, a mace. It has a stab style. It has stab accuracy. Yeah. 71 with the arty cloak and stuff. Works out well. And it works better than a dragon hunter lance on black dragons in the wilderness. It's pretty pretty intense. Pretty intense stuff. Let's see. So let's see, let's see what we're risking. So that's 113k, but that's a lie because we have ether in here. So we, if we are in charge of this. Yes. In charge? Yep, we're risking like 200k in ether. That's fine. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna lose about 200k. Is that true? Am I stupid? So we're risking 113, and now we're risking. Now we're risking more like 250k. The hell? The hell? Let's see. Let's, oh, let's just ask it. Yeah, 276k. <laughs> oh. oh man, math, math is hard. Anyway, let's let's get out to the black dragons. This is this is the uh, the setup we're gonna be using. We're bringing extended anti fire, so we never get to take damage from dragon fire, and we're gonna bring a super combat, so we can just blast through them. And yeah, nothing else to it but do it. All right, and we are here. And for this task, I'm gonna pray melee uh, piety, and I'm gonna protect item. I'm gonna Drink my anti-fire and my super combat, and I should be taking zero damage from these things. Yep. And also, bursting chain mace is fun because the spec weapon's actually not dog. And this is kind of a dangerous place. It's not that bad. Yeah, this thing slaps him down. I don't think I missed it. Up, oh, I just missed. Of course. Yeah. It's like obviously the abyssal demons are much more dangerous. It's um. Pretty much any uh, task where monsters are aggressive like these guys, it's a lot safer. So if I wanted to be maximum, I want this kill though. Give me this kill. Hey, alright! Give it. Yeah, if I want to be max safe, I would be back here on this tile. And the PKs would have to work a lot harder to get to me. A lot harder. They'd, they'd have to be here and I'd have plenty of time to react to teleport out. Like this. Alright, now we're doing Black Knights. Now, uh, I don't do this task. This task sucks. Black Knights are like 200 gold a piece. And, uh, yeah, they're just, just a waste of time. I'm bringing the cannon. Not even sure if they're multi. I, I don't think I've ever actually ever done this task. It's weird to get to, and they're not worth any money. And they have like one in less than a thousand chance of, of dropping a, a Laird's key. But, uh, let's, let's go see what it's all about. <laughs> Also, we're bringing this stuff. I'm bringing black dragon hide and barrows gloves and all. I brought a whip because I don't want to waste my ether on it, which doesn't really explain why I'm bringing. Can I'm bringing a cannon because I'm mad. Anyway, oh thank God, this place is multi. Yeah, if you are really hurting for points, I guess you can pray melee, protect item. And then drop a... This would actually be a really sick place to get the Fally Elite done, actually, since this place is multi. And just AFK here at Garbage Gear. Uh, I, uh, unironically, AFK this task if you if you have to do it. But, um... Or just don't. Don't do it. This, this task is horrible. But why is my cannon not working? Shoot these things. Shoot these people. There we go. Hey, there's a scout over there. Toxic JDM. He's watching me. That man, he wants to kill me. He's like, what is this man doing? He thinks I'm doing Slayer, but really, I'm just wearing a Slayer helmet off task. Because, because of reasons. Get me, get me out of this place. Get me out of here. What the hell am I doing here? Oh, we're still, oh my god, and this is over 30 wilderness? No! This task is no. Just skip this task. It's low weight. So don't block it, just skip it. And I got poisoned by something. I don't even know what I got poisoned by. Something poisoned me. <laughs> Horrible task. Do not do this task. <laughs> 
All right, remember what I said earlier about never ever entering the God Wars dungeon <clears throat> because that place is icky. Yeah, that's that's the same case for Blood Belts here. We we uh we block these. This is kind of like a, a flavor block a little bit. These other blocks are are set in stone though. We these these shall be blocked. But uh, I feel the same way about Blood Belts. I, I don't like doing Blood Belts in the God Wars dungeon. It's just uh just sucks. Just, there's no compelling reason to go to the God Wars dungeon right now. That that. That is a part of uh, the wilderness that could use a, a, a touch up. Put a boss in there or something. Some some fucking gut. Uh, put a Guthix boss in there. That'd be cool. All right, now here here is another one of my favorite tasks. It's Chaos Druids. You want to kill the other Chaos Druids. They're super fast to get to, and you can just slaughter them. We are risking 800k, but most of that is is literally in the cannon. Once you drop the cannon, have the cannonballs flowing. It the risk goes way down, way down. You know, and, and super easy to get there. I'm gonna be ranging them because it's just they'll teleport you all over the place, and it's hard to stick melee to them. Whereas, not so problem with much of a problem with the magic short bow imbued. Fun item. I love this item. Great item. Or you could use a uh, web weaver bow. Whatever you want to use. Up to you. Up to you. I'm gonna be using this because I'm bringing the ultimate wilderness weapon, the cannon, obviously. And uh, for this task, it's pretty ideal. You just you just want to pray mage and protect your item, and you can pray eagle eye or, or rigor or whatever if you want to. Totally fine because you have unlimited prayer on this task. Unlimited prayer. I even turn on auto retaliate, and you get the spec. It's good, good item, good good stuff. I'm gonna spec this guy out. Be specked. Oh, see what I mean? Teleported. Teleported. I'm trying to focus this guy. Alright, yeah. The can is doing most of the work anyway, yeah. He's dead. 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 Yeah, and then you go over here, and you can pray to recover your prayer if you don't get teleported, but we'll see what happens. I didn't get pray teleported a bunch to think, oh, they teleported us right back. Easy. Yeah, this is this is an awesome task, a really fast task, and they, these guys drop hard clues, and they also have a chance to drop the chaos robes. Everything else on these guys, the, besides the hard clues and the uh, chaos robes, elder, elder chaos robes, are pretty, pretty meh. Pretty mad otherwise, but yeah, no, it's a good task, fast task, cannibal task. Totally, totally do this task. Incredible task, incredible task. Get me out of here. Get me out. Okay, how, how? Get me out of here, my lord. Oh wait, no. All right, now we're leaving. Alrighty, gentlemen. Full disclosure here. I do not like this task, and I do not do this task. There's a reason why Slayer points get are like at 25 a pop. It's so you can skip stuff like this. But if you had to do it. Uh, you're not gonna make any money on it, and for sure you will lose money if you bring a nursery and chain mace. So just bring this stuff. You know, pr prayer gear. We're bringing prayer gear, and uh, you get out there super quick. You just teleport to the bandit camp and run south. And then yeah, it's right here. This is the dark. This is the dark warrior's fortress. It's literally right here. All right, now that we're here. You just go to the second floor and just whip all the weak ones. You can, you can pray. You can, you can protect that in here, but you're not gonna get PK'd here. A PK is gonna waste your time if you come in here. Like, cause anyone here who's doing this task is not going to be worth killing. Like, how much are we risking right now? Damn it! Yeah, there's just a bunch of little little guys down here. Yep, one shot. One shot. You just literally you just run around. I should probably have a stamina. Yeah, this is uh, dog water task. Dog one. <laughs> I don't even have the Slayer Helmet effect. I'm easily one-shotting these guys. But anyway, what are we? What are we risking right now? 100k. Yeah, no one's gonna come kill you here. Don't, like, this isn't even the wilderness. This doesn't count as wilderness. Uh, yeah, no. This is no. This is this is why Slayer points exist. Alrighty, Dust Devils. Once more, we bring out the the signature fashion scape, the red and purple man that somehow matches with the uh, the Slayer Helmet pretty good. No matter which one you go to. I want to go orange. Go orange. Swap. Yeah, it still goes because like it has the orange on the little the little face mask part. It's good. It's good. You're not gonna be doing that, but you are going to be bringing the purple version. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. My apologies, gentlemen. We need to be bringing about. Where are they? 150 ice sacks. Yeah. We'll, we'll just. Yeah, 150. Yeah, this should do it. So we're bringing. One point three million. Somebody kills me right now. They're gonna be having a good day. We worth three one point three mil. If you do get jumped with all this stuff on you, oh, my prayers down. Uh, just click on your cannon, and you'll you won't lose a mil. You'll, you'll save eight hundred k about by doing that. Anyway, to the dust devils.
Pray mage as you run by these. That way you don't get scorched by dragon fire. Alright, we're here. You're pretty much the same thing as before, you just always always drop your drop your stiff. And make sure you're auto casting. Oh, I'm not on ancients. Well I should be on ancients, I should be auto casting ice barrage. But I can't do this because you can't do these things off task. Yeah. But this is this is where you go, you just like stack them up, plump them, and AoE them down. Super fast, super profitable task, tons of layers, keys, superiors, good stuff. Just good 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 solid task. Alrighty, Earth Warriors. Those are a uh, easy ban. Easy ban. Just got rewards, tasks, and these are these are mandatory bans. Unless you want to look like an idiot in a framed video. That's a. Uh, it's the only only reason you'd ever do Earth Warriors. They're they're hyper dog shit. I pretty you pretty much shouldn't do anything in the Edgeville dungeon. Just anything you can do there. You should just go to the Slayer dungeon. And if you can't do it in the Slayer dungeon, you, or the like the Wilderness Slayer dungeon, you should block it. And that's what we're doing here. We're blocking this. Fuck this task. Alrighty, Ents. Uh, I actually have an Ents task, somehow. Totally accident. I accidentally clicked on her and it just automatically gives me a task. But that's okay. Uh, super easy. Easy to bring standard stuff. You can bring a Ursine Chain Mace or not. Totally fine. Totally up to you. And then all you gotta do is just teleport to house. It's usually a really quick task, too. I don't think I know, though, if there's a real clean way to get to them, but you can just teleport menu, and then, so you want, if you have a games necklace or a jewelry box, in the, even a low level, you just teleport to Corporeal Beast. This is a pretty useful teleport. Teleport you right over these people doing stuff. What are these bots? It's probably bots. Yeah, those are bots for sure. The hell? That's a bot farm. I don't know what's going on there. You know, you come out here, you pray melee, piety. Well, I just one shot that. Sit, sit down, and just kill some Ents. There's a bunch of Ents around here. Yeah. I expect this one out to get specked. Die. Yes. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty, pretty chill task. Pretty easy task. Low task weight uh, too. Well, not tat low. I don't know how what the task weight is, but it's not bad. And they don't, you don't want to sign a bunch of them. And then, then it, you got to bring an axe in your inventory, and then you can start chopping away. And this is, this is what we like about Slayer, is wood cutting. Yes. This is this is peak Slayer right here, gentlemen. Alrighty, fire giants. The problem with fire giants is that they are mega deep in the wilderness. They have an oppressively high drop, uh, like a weight, which means they get assigned a, a lot. They're probably her most assigned task. Like it's like a it's like a weighting of eight, which I don't understand like the exact metric of these, but she assigns them way more often than other stuff. And they're only right here, in like level 50 plus wilderness. So you can't escape, you can't teleport away, you can't bring much risk of anything. I mean, you're not going to bring much risk anyway, but you just you just can't get in and out easily. It's annoying. It's an annoying, oppressive task, and you should block it. It's probably the first thing you should block. Yeah, like this, slot one. Slot one, if you only have one thing to block, block this. Block fire days. Alrighty then. Greater Demons. This is a task I have actually probably done more than any other task in the wilderness because this task is excellent. Excellent! Great XP. Great money. Uh, easy. And pretty reclined. Also really safe to do. And best of all, uh, you get this lovely thing out of them. You get, you get, you get fucking hard clues, baby. You get lots of hard clues. We like, we like doing hard clues. That's the main reason why we do Wilderness Slayer. So we get that 300 hard clue thing and get this cool little animation. It's good stuff. And uh, this is the setup I like to wear. Like I'm not, ri I'm risking dog in this. Yeah, not even risking a mill. I am risking the this ash sanctifier, which is annoying. If I die with it, but that's okay. I'm willing to, to get burned on that. Free prayer XP, borderline free X prayer XP as far as I'm concerned. And you don't have to pick it up. It makes it clean, it cleans up the clutter on the ground. And uh, I like ranging with cannon with big things like the demon. Usually, I know for the black demon's task I mailed it because to mailing it is totally a viable option. So I might as well show both. But this is this is the setup I like to use. I like to bring my Bofa, my crystal body, and my black slayer helm everywhere. Totally, totally super expensive and not necessary. Get the hell out of here, brother. And uh, and if you want to bring a web weaver bow or um, a melee setup or a magic short bone butte, all of them work great. The main thing that's important for this is the cannon, the strongest wilderness weapon. That is that is the main thing that is going to make this a lot faster. Everything else is pretty semantical, as it would. Anyway, let's get out there.
All right, and we're here. We just protect melee and turn on protect from item, and we just drop this cannon. And yep, and, and it's super easy to see PKers coming because PKers can't world hop into this room. They have to run down this hallway, so it's always super safe. And you can just literally stand in your cannon, get that thing shooting, and then just like literally just like get in a position where you can see everything that's going on and be ready to pu push the push your seed pod. And the cannon will do most of the work, and so will auto retaliate. It's pretty pretty chill. Listen to a podcast or something. Definitely don't take your eyes out the screen. Like if you have to switch change screens or something, don't be doing that. Try to avoid that as much as possible. Also, if you if you're using rune light and you hold alt, you can, uh, or yeah, you hold alt. You can uh, prior, like make things show up or not show up. So I can just deselect that. And so the only things I care about show up. That way, there's less clutter on my screen, and which is really important when you're doing cannonable tasks, especially cannonable burst tasks like neck reels and dust devils and abyssal demons. There's going to be a lot of clutter on the floor, and you're going to want to look at all of it. You want to pick it all up and like, whatever. And, and doing that will get you killed. <laughs> It will get you killed. You want to only focus on. You want to only stare at things that are relevant to you. So look, look this, see, there's like six things on five things on the ground right now. I can only see three of them. So that'll that'll save your life. It'll allow you to pay attention more over here. Anyway, moving on. Get me out of here. You beat it. Get me out of here. All right, time for another lovely task. Whenever we get green dragons, we always get a big shit-eating grin on our face because we're risking 1.3 mil basically. And, uh, yeah, you just power slaughter these things, and they drop hard clues. That's just, it's probably one of, it's one, and they're in the, the fucking Slayer Wilderness Dungeon thing, and it's probably one of the best tasks you can get, honestly. Sick task, sick task. Let's get to it! Oh, oh, oh let me go through. Let's up real quick. Pretty basic setup. Using the same stuff as Black Dragon. I just swapped out the Proselyte for Black Dehyde. Doesn't really matter. You want to stay there longer, or do you... Or do you want to survive PKers better? Up to you. Up to you. I picked uh, surviving PKers longer because uh, these two things are going to die so fast that this looting bag is going to fill up super fast. And we're going to cannon them, so they, they have barely any health. So they're going to just get power, power slaughtered. Anyway, now let's get to it. And we're here! We're gonna drink our extended anti-fire, protect melee, and oops, protect melee and protect item. Drop a cannon here. Yep, we're just gonna drop the cannon. Apparently, this is a really good spot for this thing. And then we have auto retaliate on, and we should be hitting stuff now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. This is actually beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my God. Yeah. This is the life. Yep, yep, yeah. This is why I didn't bring a super combat because I knew we would be killing them faster than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. What a crazy task. Just beautiful. This take this cannon. Well, this spot is perfect. This is a perfect spot. I'm gonna kill one more. All right, another another task that I find just as enjoyable as greater demons is hellhounds. Whereas hellhounds would be like it would be just a failed abortion if you were getting it from Duradel or Konar. Unless you're doing Cerberus, uh, in the wilderness is totally fine because Wilderness Slayer Cave just just fixes all everything. It just fixes everything. <clears throat> everything should drop Slayer stuff like that. I wish all Wilderness, all Slayer was like this, but currently only Wilderness Slayer is any 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 fun to do, pretty much, unless you're bossing. If, and you should be using Slayer for bossing. But anyway, let's let's go let's go do this task. This is the setup I like to use. You know, it's my favorite. That's uh, the same setup I use for Greater Demons. I use this setup a lot. Like I, but this is probably the setup I use the most. I have to think about a lot of stuff. It's just pretty pretty brain dead. I don't have to worry about ammo or nothing. I just all I have to do, do is pretty much just worry about cannonballs, and then you just slaughter right through the task. And let's get out there. Make sure you pray a mage running through here. Just, just keep it up. You have to get hit. You get hit by drag. Watch one of these guys breathe fire on me. Nope, nope. Got lucky. No one breathed fire on me. Let say thankfully, but better safe than sorry. Oh, there's a person here. Get out of here. I'll probably teleport. Yep. <laughs> Coward. And uh, just set up a cannon right here. I'll probably come back to PK me. Honestly, I'm not premium melee right now. I'm not premium melee. Here we go. Melee protect item. And I just like to stand under my cannon and let the auto retaliate do everything else, and then the ash sanctifier will spread. If the cannon will shoot, shoot cannon. Let pull everything to me. And this is another greater. Uh, this is another another task like greater demons, where these things are aggressive, so people can't hop in on you. 
And you just sit here and get hard clues and the LMS drop table and Laren's keys. Pretty, pretty good time. All right, I guess we're we're starting over from the beginning when we would farm hill giants. Except this time we're not going to be doing them by Edgeville. We're gonna we're gonna be doing them in this deep level 50 wilderness because there's actually a decent amount of hill giants out there. The only other spot that has hill giants there's only two. That's not where you would do a slayer task. So we're going to go hyper deep into the wilderness for a no money task that has barely any chance to drop Laird's Key. The only reason why you would do this is because insane rates for giant keys if you want to do ober tasks and stuff and go get a collection log or something. That's the only reason you do that. This is the only reason. <laughs> so we're going to go out there and I'll show you how to get out there. You need this ice plateau teleport tab. It just makes things a little smoother. Right, let's head, Let's get out there. We're here. This is all single combat. Oh no. Let's see. Man, this is such a weird. Oh, I, just, I got aggroed by a cast dwarf. Dick. Interesting. It's a Guamly beard. Such a strange place. Oh, and there's a crevice over there, so you can go straight to the fire giants. So you don't have to go through this spidery area. See these shadow spiders? They, uh, they drain your prayer if you try to go to them. So, uh, we don't do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this until I get a giant I'm not leaving until I get a giant key. Give me a giant key. Alright, I did not get a longbone. I did, however, get, or er, whatever. I didn't get a giant's key. But, spoiler, I, I did get a longbone for some reason. I killed like 200 giants, no giant's key. Got a longbone, though. Well, this, get, this game is weird. RNG's weird. Speaking of uh, long bones and giants, so we're gonna go kill ice giants. Probably the my least favorite task to do in the Wilderness Slayer Cave, but it is a task in the Wilderness Slayer Cave, which makes it better than any task anywhere else in the Wilderness except for the bossing tasks. So let's go do it. And I'm gonna use my my, my you know my Hellhound and Greater Demon and Black Demons out of you know this stuff. If you can afford this for sure. It just makes clues and like slayer just great and just you don't have to think about stuff you just you just grab a lot of the same stuff you can really turn your brain off which is perfect for me i love turning my brain off all right we're here we're just gonna drop the cannon like we do for like every other task like this and uh, we're just gonna get, 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 let it rip Put the spam, put this so it can actually fire for once. There we go. And then you just stand under the cannon. Have auto retaliate on. And just chill. I have, uh, I've never died here. People don't PK here. It's, you can, it's sub 20 wilderness, so I can get teleport even with my, uh, my desert amulet. Not a big deal at all. Yeah, easy task. And they die super quick, so it's a quick task. Even though I don't like it that much, it's, it's still, you can't really complain. Moving on. Alrighty, Ice Warriors. We don't do Ice Warriors. Ice, ice Warriors are auto-blocked. Just block those. They, do, they are not good. We do not like Ice Warriors. Bad. Bad task. Lame task. They're like 300 gold at the kill. And they're, they're all the way up here. They're all up here. Super, super deep in the wilderness. So all, all risk, no reward. Which completely defeats of doing anything in the wilderness in the first place. So, so block it. Just block it. Alright, it's jelly time. And we're bringing the burst mage set up once more with the cannon, so we can just power slaughter this task and just, it's just incredible. incredible. We'll just hit so many stuff at the same time and just make it a boatload of money. Yeah, so same setup as before, risking about 1.3 mil. So this is the same setup we use for abyssal demons, neck reels, dust devils, those kind of deaths. The slayer specific monsters that drop a shit ton of Laren's keys. You will not like you will not be losing money with this setup. You will be you will be very much gating, profiting, very much so. Unless we die on the way there, uh, which in which case we are big sad. We are big sad. But that has literally never happened to me, so I, I don't think it'll but never too late to start, I guess. Alright, we're here. Just like, just like with like Dust Devils, it's, it's literally the exact same task as Dust Devils. Dust Devils are just north of this place. Set the cannon in the middle-ish, load it up, start shooting it. But it won't shoot anything because I'm on a Slayer task, unfortunately. 
can't attack these things at all. This is weird. No, which is no. Peeve. Because that's related to Steve and Neve or something. The dead grandma or grandpa or something. Probably grandpa. It's kind of like a mannish face. Anyway, yeah, this is an insane task. Drops a ton I always get a ton of hard clues and Laren's keys on this task. Just incredible, incredible task. Alrighty, Lava Dragons are probably my favorite task. One of my favorite tasks, at least. It's a really dangerous task, and you could totally die here, and I've been attacked multiple times by PKs, but that's... It's whatever. That's why we emphasize mage defense. Lots of mage defense. With a little bit of... Magic accuracy and prayer bonuses. You don't need much for uh, for lava dragons, if any. Honestly, you could probably you could probably swap this book out for something more defensive. But that's okay. I'm not gonna do that. This book is free. I don't care. And uh, pretty standard setup, like we've been doing. You know, the five mantis and cram, just in case we get attacked. We need to combo eat and get some get some prayer. These things, these are literally half the price of fucking prayer pots. Yes, they are. They've gone up. Wow, they were four point eight the other day. Nice. And uh, we got our seed pods so we can get away when we get the 30 wildy. And we got a looting bag. Now this is where, uh, a little bit of, little controversy. I have 15,000 bone charges. You do not need that many or anywhere near that much. And I should not have, this is an irresponsible amount of bone charges. Because if I die with this thing in the wilderness, I will lose all those charges. It's really easy to recharge, like it's not a big deal. Like you just, especially if you have the Mortania Elite done, you can put like a couple thousand charges in it a day. But, uh, still. Still a risk, still annoying, but I'm totally willing to take that risk. You do not have to do that. But the reason why I do that, and I'll show you, I'll show you why. We're gonna use the Santa Carl teleport and just get out there. I'll show you what's up. We're here at Lava Dragon Isle. These guys, these are that's such a cool addition. I hope they add like a Lava Dragon boss or something. He's got his own like little aisle. He's like in further north or something, I don't know. So we're gonna run past these and just pray mage as we run past them, so we don't get zorched. I don't know why that one didn't hit Acme. That's weird. God, one meleeed me. That didn't feel good. Didn't feel good. I'm gonna eat a, eat a manta ray. Hey, you can literally just chill here, you don't have to pray or nothing. And you can just click right here. And the reason why I'm bringing the bone crusher is because when you bury uh, lava dragon bones on lava dragon isle, you get you get better than Gilded Altar XP. Like, you get 297.5 prayer XP if you use a dragon, a lava dragon bone on a uh, Gilded Altar. If you uh, just kill them out here, and this is the reason why I bought this, because it auto buries them. So watch, look at this XP drop. Where are we at? Where are we at? 340 prayer XP. So it's even better than a Gilded Altar. So if, like, if you were to go to this, uh, go to like the Orog Bones or Rog Bones, which are, give similar pair experience to, on a Gilded Altar than these out here, I would, if I killed 10,000 of these, I would have 99 prayer. Which, uh, I mean, I have killed, so, oh, man, amount of crap I've killed in this game. <laughs> too much, too, I mean, I've killed Chemical Hydra 2,500 times. Like, I am a degenerate. Degenerate. So I could literally just camp out here and kill these forever, honestly. And they just die. I'm not even on task. And this, this, that, this staff, this curse scepter, it just slaughters them. And yeah. Now the tricky part to this task is getting out of here. I'm gonna show you how to get out of here. I mean, hopefully, 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 cross your heart. Hope you die. You have as much. You have the wilderness hard done. So you need to have the wilderness hard diary done to use this shortcut over here. Really nice shortcut. A lot of people don't have it. I would just get your diaries done. It it'll only help you. It'll only help you. I'm gonna kill this one, one real quick, and then we'll, then we'll get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna grab the, grab the loot a little bit. Loot! Give me that loot, boy. Oh, hey, fuck you. Oh my god, I could've got Zorch right there. Alright, we're good. We're getting out of here. We're running! See, look, there's a bot right there. It doesn't get, look, he's literally just not, he's literally just has a trident. And he's, he's killing it just fine crazy. But yeah, you need to have the hard di diary to get to that one, to do that one. And then you just run south for a little bit, and then you can teleport out of here. Let's see, we're at 34, 33, and then we're 32. We're almost, almost there, almost there. You just probably just spam click all the way up. Yep, there we go, and we're out of here. Alrighty, lesser demons. <clears throat> pretty, uh, pretty straightforward and quick task. Uh, they don't drop anything exciting like heart clues or anything like that, so they're just, uh, they're just not good like uh, greater demons are, but they're pretty easy to kill, and they're pretty quick to kill. And then uh, my dogs are barking. Lovely, lovely. So yeah, standard setup. Bring your, bring the ultimate wieldy weapon. Bring your 
whatever works. You don't have to bring this setup. You can bring a fang or a melee weapon or a wieldy weapon or whatever. Melee, range, doesn't matter. Just uh, bring a style to kill something and bring your cannon is the most important thing. Just bring your cannon and you'll be good to go. Now let's get out there. All right, and here we are. This is a pretty pretty safe task. You just pray melee, protect Adam. And then just drop the bad boy. Let's see how much health are these things got? Not very much. They die pretty quick. And the cannon will just do do the Lord's work. And then you can just stand here under the cannon and then auto retaliate. And then just stare here and prepare to teleport. That's it. That's pretty much it. Oh my cannon's not shooting. I keep doing that. Click on your cannon so it shoots things. Yeah. Easy. Easy task. Alright, once more we find ourselves upon another hyper dog shit task. It is magic axes. They are, if we look at the map, they are all the way up here in this small little hut. And they do have a chance to drop medium clues, but it is a really low chance. And it's just, it's just a hyper deep wilderness with a lot of risk in a weird place that is not worth killing. Hence, hence the, and it's got a decent task weight, I believe. What, what's, let me see, what's the task weight? Task weight is seven. Wow, okay, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely block that. That is a super block. That is probably like the second thing you should block. Never do that task, ever, ever, never, ever. Alrighty, mammoths, uh, pretty decent task. Also, this, this that room bot is about to get PK'd. Hold up, hold up, we gotta watch this. Get him. Get him. All right, now this man is doing God's work. He is banning. He is literally doing more against bots than, than Jagex ever will. What a fucking hero. Look at that. He's just farming bots out here. Anyway, back to mammoths. Uh, pretty easy task. Bring standard stuff. Like, I'm bringing my favorite setup. You can you can bring wildly weapons or... Yeah, you can bring the Ursine Chain Mace, Crossbow, uh, bring a Blood Abyssal Bludgeon, a melee setup, range setup, and Magic Shortbow imbued with a full Black Dragon Hide. Yeah, look, he has two, he has two key. Oh, that one get away? I just watched him kill one earlier. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Still, fucking hero. But yeah, pretty pretty easy task, and the task is super easy to get to. Like, oh, look, there's another bot right there. <laughs> He's gonna miss one. <clears throat> That's funny. But yeah, the mammoths are literally right here. If you just go to Fairfax Enclave, go to the south, south exit. This task is extremely safe because mammoths are aggressive, so they, you can't be teleported in on. So literally, once you get in the middle of here, you should. Oh wait, they're not aggressive. That is wrong. That is false information. So they people can't teleport on you. Oh wait, they are aggressive. I did. did I was right. Hell yes. Shit. I just. Whatever. I'm dropping my cannon. Awesome. So yeah. So people can't log in under you. That's perfect. That's perfect. So this is an extremely safe task. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Nice. Just went through a little roller coaster of emotions there. Yeah, and then you just murder ki murder these things have a good chance to drop. Uh, the best things these things drop are medium clues and uh, prayer dose potions, and I guess long bones sometimes. I got a long bone off these guys, I think. Yeah, so look at this. Look at this. Just just sit back, relax, and just cannon everything. Easy, easy task. Okay, moss giants are a bit sus. You have to go to a weird place to do them, and. Uh, I don't personally do this task, I do skip it, but it's a pretty low weight task, and it's a pretty easy task, and you get a pretty high rate to get mossy keys to do Bryophyta. So, or Bryophyta. I don't know how you pronounce her name. The Moss Giant boss that drops the, uh, the nature rune staff. Bryophyta's essence. Whatever it is. Anyway, instead of using a burning amulet, you use a Revenant Cave Teleport, because it teleports you pretty much right there. Like, if we go over here... Yeah, we're gonna be ending up right here, right next to the Rev Cave entrance. And, but, but this is where we want to be. We want to be in this area. I think the only cl closer teleport is a uh, Obelisk 35, and I don't have an Obelisk in my house currently. Which that would be cool. Oh, I guess the the level 99 Hunter Cape would work really well too, because it teleports you right here. But uh, if you don't have any of those things, Revenant Cave teleport is is just fine, and that's what we're gonna use. Because you can just get that no matter what, and you don't need anything insane like an Obelisk in your house or or or. Uh, 99 Hunter, because, man, who wants to do that? Gee, oh, a bot. A bot does. We're not a bots. We're, we're men. We're going to go teleport out there right now. Oh, Jesus. All right. Okay. 
there a good place to put a can? I saw somebody put a can in. Put the can in right there. Yeah, I think right here looks good. Now, unfortunately, this isn't multi. Oh, but these are aggressive. That is good. That is good to know. All right, I guess I'm gonna just chill right here and then shoot away a cannon. I have to kill this mossy giant so it can hit multiple. So when you're in single with with the cannon. We haven't had to encounter this yet, but yeah, it should should just shoot stuff. Yeah. Actually, probably over. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about this spot. It's usually usually a thing that tells. Usually, rune light will tell you what to do. I'm gonna try this spot over here. Let's see see how this looks. It's probably a better spot. Still right in right in <laughs> right where I by the revenant cave. So I am going to die. I can. Ah oh, yes, much better. That's what we want. Yeah, for sure. For sure, use this hill. Oh my god, it's still alive. Shoot. Oh, whoops. Yeah, don't attack stuff like I just did there. Let let the cannon do its work. Yeah, well, hell yeah. Die, die. Nice. I don't even know what the cannon shot over there. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Sick task, actually. Oh god, <laughs> that guy scared me. Okay, yeah, uh, there are, this is 37 wilderness, so if you get caught out here, you're pretty... There's another guy. I guess there's just mostly rev bots out here. This is, this is uh, you know, risky. I can hear my dogs. Those are my dogs. That's fine. That's fine. Um, this is an okay task. I skip this, but you can do it if you want. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, perfect. Alrighty, neck reels. Beautiful, beautiful task. Shit tons of Laren's keys. Bunch of money. Just, ugh. Just not superiors, just pretty much abyssal demons, but better. Pretty much abyssal demons, but better. They drop way more stuff. Uh, this you need to bring an ash sanctifier, or at least use rune light to disable seeing ashes, so that the just ground is not completely cluttered with just the tons of loot you'll be getting. But uh, yeah, I love this task. It's a great task. They're not aggressive or anything. This is actually a pretty dangerous task if people, if the uh, world hoppers or PKers know what they're doing, because they can log in right under you, murder you. But that has literally never happened to me. So let's get out there. I didn't go over this before, but uh, yeah, bringing the same risk as before for the Abyssal Demons, about 1.3 mil. Yeah, just same stuff. Just the, the magic setup. I used to use this some pretty similar setup at Callisto. Pretty good, pretty good. I love this setup. It's just It just does so much. Oh, hello. Yes, we take these. Okay, cool. Yeah, you just set up your cannon in the middle here. And then yeah, you have, make sure you have Ice Barrage ready to go. And then, um, yeah, and you just, uh, you run to the wall. I like to run to the wall over here and just, like, bounce between this corner and this corner and then just barrage the crap out of them. It's great. Barrage or, uh, burst. Whatever. You, whatever. Bursting is fine as well. Totally fine. Fucking incredible task. Also, always lamp agility. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm getting out of here. Alrighty. Pirates! Pirates are a hyper horrible task. They're like Magic Axes 2.0, but at least they're not weighted at a three. So you, or only weighted at a three, so you don't have to block them because they're not weighted at a seven. So thank God for that at least. So you, if you do get this task, you probably won't get it again if you block if you skip it. But uh, I'll show you how to get there. You just grab an ice plateau teleport and uh, and bring a lock pick with you, and then I'll show you where they're at. And we're here! This is the only place you can do pirates in the wilderness. The only place. Oh, and they're super low level. Oh, I was planning to die here so I could oh, get back. I didn't bring a sword or nothing. How am I gonna get out of here? Whatever. You bring a lockpick so you can get in here. Yeah, you gotta pick lock the door. This is this. You can kill some pirates. Pick lock. This is not working. You failed to pick a lock. Hold on. Rune light. Alright! Left click. There we go. Open. Open. Oh, there we go. I did it! Now die! Oh, they all attack me. Perfect. Wait, it's not multi -hit? It's we. How weird. This is also single combat. Oh, man. What a fun task. Lovely. Alright, Revenants are probably one of the most dope Slayer tasks you could possibly get. Extend these. Uh, just do whatever you can to make sure you stay in that cave as long as possible. And there's like two mains. You can either range them or melee them. Not many people magic them. They have like decent magic defense. So fuck that. Uh, 
and you want to make sure if whatever style you so you can bring like a setup like this and you can you can don't have to bring uh, the crystal stuff you can just make sure you bring the salve amulet ei and you can swap this out for a web weaver bow and a black dragon hide body or something or you could bring the melee setup and you'd be wearing something more like this yeah and uh yeah it'd be more uh, more apt to kill stuff just beat it down it's good it's good it's good you don't have to bring a fighter torso you can bring a black uh black dragon hide body or something yeah let's we'll see what, what, what we would be risking oh i'm not wearing too much stuff yeah let me let me bank this stuff real quick real quick real quick so what would be risking we would be risking yeah not much not much yeah nothing we care about and then plus the ether and the mace so that's a little a little extra risk there but that's okay I want to bring my favorite setup, and that's this setup over here with the 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 crystal body and stuff. I, I love I love my I love my Bofa. It's just it's just too good. It's too good not to bring. Let's see what am I what am I missing here? Oh, I'm missing my snakeskin. I don't have, you literally don't have to bring the snakeskin hat. But, uh, let's see there's my revenant tab. Yep, snakeskin, and I want to bring my Arctic cloak. Yeah, but this is this is how I like to kill revs, and it works pretty. Oh. <laughs> Don't want the salve. This I want the I want the good salve. I want the blue one. Yeah, give me that one. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, if you bring uh, the pink salve, you can bring a lot more melee stuff. But if you bring mage or range, you got to bring the blue salve, and you do not want to risk your blue salve. It's it's like a million dollars, a million Gilinor's finest pieces in in um, nightmare zone points. So no, no, thank you. And you also, for whenever you go to the revenants, you always want to bring one of these little guys. You want to bring a, a bracelet of Ethereum. And you want to make sure you bring about, you know, I'm going to charge it. You want to bring about 100 ether. 100 ish ether. I know I have 125 in there, but that's okay. Alright. Let, uh, let me dump this stuff off. Yeah. Dump. Dump. Yeah. Let's go do some revenants. Also, we're going to use it being a burning amulet, and we're going to be teleporting to the bandit camp because it's super close. Just real close. Yeah, see, we're right here, and the revenant cave is just right over there. Alright, and we're here. So make sure you're, yeah, make sure you have all your protect mage prayers on and stuff. Up, oh, free food. Gimme, give gimme. Give Being a rat is fine. And I like to kill revenant orcs personally. Just, uh, I don't know, they get, get a good risk to reward ratio. Oh, this guy's got, oh, he, damn, I thought I was catching him sleeping. This guy's setup is actually pretty good. He's bringing, like, no risk. He does not bring, he's, he's wearing leather boots. He doesn't have a defender or nothing. And he's, he pretty much two-shot the thing with the Erstein chair, chain mace, so fair enough. He's... <laughs> And it's, he didn't bring a mythical cape or nothing, so you don't have to do all that. You can literally just just have garbage, wear garbage, and and use a use an Ursine chain mace. Damn, the revenant orcs are crowded. The revenants are always crowded, always. Look at look at these these uh, fine real players here, real pa players who care about the game. Ugh, lovely task. This task is awesome, especially if you're doing it late at night. Just awesome task. Just. Just loads of money. This task is money. Like, just, you will make money on this task. This task will literally make you rich. Like, you can get wilderness weapons, 16 mil emblems, just good task. Good, good stuff. I do not do rogues. I don't do them. It is another hyper dog shit task that makes no money that is super deep into the wilderness. But I will show you how to get there. You can either use a wilderness sword, teleport sword, whatever. Wilderness sword 4. To teleport there for free, or you can use an Anakaro teleport to teleport there for 2,000 gold. I'm gonna use my teleport. This one has a cool animation. Let's go. Here we are. These are rogues. You can kill the level 15 ones, or you can kill the big boy ones over here. Where are they? Yeah, we got the big boy ones over here. They're, they're by the rogues' chest. They're not aggressive. Oh, wait, what does this guy got? Capes. He sells capes. I try to open this chest. Today. I think I have to have a picklock to open these chests. Because you can get hard clues out of these chests now, which is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, this this is a no. This is multi, though. Maybe you can can of these. I don't know. I don't do this task. This task sucks. Don't do this. Also, if you have the uh, wilderness hard done, man, get the wilderness hard. <laughs> get as get as high of uh, wilderness a, a, ta a diary t achievement task done as you can. You, if you just talk to this thing, like you go like, act, you can change the where you teleport. Usually, this teleports you to random places, but if you have the hard done, you can choose where you teleport. Like I always choose to teleport to the Ferox Enclave. Just gets you right out of there, nice and quick. And boom, just like that, we're out of there. 
Scorpions are one of my favorite tasks. You just, you, it's it's a boss task. You just kill Scorpio and you bring the Callisto setup. It's the exact same concept as the Callisto setup. You just bring a bunch of mage stuff and mage him. It's super great. It's it's so nice that they allowed you to bring the, the, the Scorpio setup to Callisto now. It's just, it's just gravy. And we are risking 500k if we die. Which is saddening. That will make me sad because I have died here before. But that's okay. It, and if you get caught out here by a team, you are dead. There is nothing you can do. You will die. I have barely, barely managed to escape twice. And one of them involved me having the elite diary done for the wilderness because I managed to escape into the resource area. What the hell did I just do? What happened here? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I escaped into the resource area and the guy got tripped up on it and I teleported back here. And then another time I ran over here and logged out. But man, I've died a lot. I've I've died. Yeah, I've died a time. Sort of like maybe died three times there. So out of the five times I've been attacked there, I survived two of them. So you can totally die in this. You and there is a fast way to do this. But I I want the pet because the Scorpio pet is dope. So it is what it is. So we're risking 500k. I'm gonna shove this stuff into here. I'm gonna show you how to do some Scorpio. It's pretty easy. He's super easy. Like he is brain dead easy. Just real easy. Just make sure you have uh, set up your quick prayers for it for range and then you don't need that you don't need that either yeah you could bring a forgotten brew uh to brew boost up your magic level but i don't find it necessary he just dies so fast anyway it doesn't matter all right let's and i'm bringing it into Cal carl Te teleport because i just showed the wilderness uh four sword anyway so you're going to show both so let's get out there One tip, don't go this way around the fortress, go around the back of it. Otherwise the Chaos Elemental will attack you and strip you naked. And I like wearing clothes. So you just go around the back and, and head for the entrances over there. And we are here! Use your super, your antidote plus plus. And pray range. And get in here, and then get ready to freeze him. Oh, I don't have combat spells on. There we go. There he is! Oh, did he see me? No, he doesn't. I'm just gonna ice barrage him and I'm gonna turn off auto retaliate. And then you just blast him. Yeah, super easy. And the combat achievements for this guy are super easy too. You just run around and and so make sure when he starts to move, you wanna you wanna move and then click. So usually when I see those his little purple s scorpions, I just cast one freeze on him and then I move away from him and I freeze him as I'm moving. And then bam, just like that. And so I see that there's another one that didn't get frozen. So this one will despawn just because I froze it. And he's almost dead anyway. But I, I'm going to freeze that one anyway just in case. Because they, they do heal a decent amount. I think I might get the kill here. Yeah, I might get the kill. Okay. Oh yeah, I got it. Easy. Yeah, super easy boss. <laughs> like, just, just ridiculously easy. And so you can farm the hell out of this guy like nothing else. Alright, skeleton tasks are awesome. You're always happy when you get this task because it's just an insane bossing task where you just go kill Vidion or Calvarian. I'm going to be killing Calvarian because I just like doing him better. Just, I like how fast the kills are. And you can use an Abyssal Bludgeon or an Ursine Chain Mace. And so if you're using an Abyssal Bludgeon, you, can, you don't have to bring a Defender and you can bring like a Strength Ring or something instead. Or you can use an Ursine Chain Mace and use something like this and you don't have to use a Nezzy Helm. You can use a Serp Helm or a, a Fighter Head or a regular Nezzy Helm. Just whatever. This is, this is a pretty good... Uh, Pretty good benefit here. Good strength to to risk ratio. Like, what am I risking right now? I'm risking 390k, mostly because of the ether. If I was bringing a bludgeon, I wouldn't be risking anything. I usually kill this boss with a bludgeon if I'm being a 100% here. Yeah. But uh, uh the, the but uh, that does not that mean you have to do that. You can totally just use a chain mace. And what you want to do is um, the, I think the best way to teleport to Calvarion is to use a games necklace. And I'll I'll just show you that right now. So I'm going to teleport to my house. Obviously, you just had a games necklace in your inventory. You'd already already be well on your way to this process. I'm going to switch to standard real quick. That's going to be useful in the future. So, yeah, you just click on this. And you teleport to Corporeal Beast. So, if you click on your games necklace, you're just going to teleport to Corporeal Beast. All right? And you're back in here. Yeah, where are we? We are here. This is this is where we killed the Ents earlier. All right, we go in here. And then Calvarian is literally right over here. He's just right over here. Not Not far at all. I'll see if we, nah, there's there's somebody here though. This is the tough part. Is you have to find a freaking world. So give me a sec. Oh, I just went right in. Why did I go in? 
Lame. Okay. Just have it set to peak. Okay, cool. So I, I have to world hop, so one second. Alright, I found a world. I'm gonna demonstrate a proper kill here real quick. Proper kill. Alright, praying. Okay, so make sure you're praying. Piety, melee, and protect item. That's all you need to do. I also, yeah. Yeah, but just make sure your mace is set to crush. And not spike from a dragon's task you did earlier. And you'll smash through this guy. This guy's mega weak to crush. Mega weak. Just kill these Dugans. Kill this Dugan. Then smash the Bone Man. Yeah, just, just, just slapping him down. Easy. Just move. All you have to do is move around and pray melee, and you'll take. You can take no damage from on from this boss. Yep. Easy. Oh, 70. Nice. He should be spawning dogs now. There we go. 30. Yes. 30. Damn. 30. <laughs> should be illegal. This should be illegal. Federally illegal. There we go. Easy. And then he should just die. Bam! Easy. Now drop a Void Waker piece. Let's go. Right here. Bam! 10 to level 12 clay. Pretty close. Pretty close. Anyway, phenomenal task. Love this task. Wilderness bossing tasks is just peak. Peak Slayer. Speaking of Peak Slayer, we have another bossing task. Spiders. Just, I have made a bajillion dollars off of Spindle. I literally got the, the jam off of them and like screamed really loud in team speak when my when my buddy was in there it was great great good fun fond memories of spindle and you can bring a really similar setup that you can bring to to Vedion or calvarion the little guy i'm and, and you can bring either proselyte to last longer or uh black dehyde to survive better against pkers up to you totally up to you and i'm so I'm, that's why i'm switching it up this time and uh, the way you get there is pretty much the same. You just, uh, I'm gonna teleport to my house and use my, uh, my teleport to Corporeal Beast again. I teleport to Corporeal Beast. And now we are here. Yeah, go back up. But instead of just running over there, we just run up over here. And this way we, we dodge all the dragons right here that are, that are pretty annoying. It's good stuff. Ah, yeah, there's people there. All right, well, see you in a second. Hold oh, it. Yeah, nice. All right, so same thing with this guy. Just want to make sure you're praying melee, protect, uh, yeah, protect item, and uh, piety. And you just super combat. And then you turn on this guy, and then you just jump in there and get him. Yeah, if you're standing right next to him, it's like he can't do anything to you. He'll just do zero damage. You want to make sure you kill these little, little boys. Otherwise, they'll uh, drain your prayer, even if you're protecting uh, protecting melee from them. Alright. And we want to look for him to use a... Fire a well, big spitball at us. And I usually do use an Abyssal Bludgeon on this task. Uh, it, it seems to work just fine. Alright, he's gonna, he's gonna spitball at me. He's gonna spitball. Like, I'm gonna get over here. So, oh, yep. Easy. So, I'm gonna get off of this. And just click on him again. And then, bam! Just like that. You can also bring a Stamina to this task. I probably should have brought one, because if you stand on that for too long, you will have no run energy, and you'll be very sad. But that's okay. But yeah, he's just super easy boss. It's like, what a great addition to the game. It's unfortunately, it's like botted so heavily, but thankfully they're taking measures against it. Like, now you have to have the medium dungeon, or diaries done in the wilderness to at least even do these. So that helps a little bit, but... So it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. Look at that, just smacking him down. I don't even know an actual Slayer test. Like, I just brought this to show it. But, so you would actually do better than I did just now. Oh, yes, look at that. Money. Alrighty, spiritual creatures. Uh, another hyper dog shit task in the God War Slayer dungeon. Or, I wish it was a God War Slayer dungeon, actually. That'd be a fucking sick idea. Like, have it, like, each, like, type of monster have or a theme of God have their own room, like in the normal God Wars, and maybe have the middle section, where there's a Guthix boss. Maybe even add a Guthix section. And then add, like, the LMS drop table, or something interesting. I don't care. Just make it better, because right now it sucks, and because it sucks so bad, we are blocking it. Fuck them. Block it. Just block the shit out of it. It has a deep, it, yeah, it has a rating of six too. So if you don't block it, you will be spammed with these, and you will, you will not, you will. It's like it's one of those tasks where you're just like, you're going through an existential crisis, and rather thinking about what happens to you when you die after you die, we could just block the task. So that sounds good to me. 
Yep, zombies are a bad task. They are very bad. I'm not even going to recommend a setup or anything like that. I'm just, and I'm going to bring just rag gear that isn't worth anything. Yeah, I'm risking 89k. Even though this, if I protect that, I'm risking way, way less, right? Yep, yeah, 14k. I'm risking 14k. Right? And why am I doing that? Because all you need is a Carolango teleport, and then you can find out why you don't want to do this task. Let's go have a look. Zombies! Yeah! Awesome. Awesome. Oh, whip! And... And whip! Look at that. Look at that fucking money. Mmm. Nine gold. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, die. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh... This is a bad task. Oh, look, oh 176 gold. We're fucking rolling in it, boys. Hell yeah. And sit the fuck down. Oh my god, I just hit a one. Oh, yes. We love this. All right, so the the guide is done. All the wilderness monsters have been have been taken care of. We've done every single wilderness task, and man, that was a lot. But we still have a. I still would like to go over a few more things that would help you out while you're in the wilderness. Speaking, it's like, what to do with your cannon? Like, what happens if your cannon despawns? Well, that's where Lassar teleports come in. You can use a Lassar teleport, and watch. So you, and you teleport you right here. Oh shit, that guy was talking to me. I'm a dick. Uh, but yeah, you, you go to this guy whose name is Nelodian or Nickelodeon or something like that, and he'll give you your cannon back for free if it despawns. So, that if, so if you just drop your cannon and walk away from it, even if you get PK'd with the skull on, you won't lose it. You just come here, and then you talk to Mr. Nelodian. 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 Yeah, you just talk to this guy. And you just ask, you, you believe you just hit four. Yeah, you just say, I've lost my cannon, and he'll give it back to you. Watch, he'll say, go fuck you, you have your cannon. Wait, what? Oh, dear. Okay. All right, cool. So, yeah, you just ask him that, and he'll give you your cannon back. Super easy. All right, another thing that'll help you out is just picking a good respawn spot. You can either talk to Miss Crystalia here, or what? Yeah, talk. Talk. Okay, yeah. Uh, man, where is this? Oh, what do you do apart from the Slayer Master stuff? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Tell me more. Okay, yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah, if you, if you do go to that option. Yeah, yeah. You can pay her five mil and she'll, you, you can, she'll respond to you like right over there by the Edgeville Bank. And that's a good option, especially if you're doing a lot of wilderness. Pe it's also just a good option in general because it's super close to a bank. So if you, whatever you die from, you can just immediately respawn there. Or uh, you can do my favorite option, which is uh, also about less than 20 tiles from a bank. Is you can uh, go over here, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the Ferox Enclave, and you can talk to Mr. Ferox himself and ask him to, for the for the same deal. So like this is also like you just click on the banker, and that's super close, right? Right there, right there, right by a bank. So you just talk to Ferox and ask him to, to for the same deal. He'll, he'll give you the ask about respawn point. He's super straightforward. Yeah, no, super easy. And he, he will, he'll also want five mil. And what's also useful at making Ferox your uh, respawn point is if you just got done with a, if you're doing like um, Zora or Phantom Muspa or something, you and you don't have a built up house yet, you can use the respawn teleport. Or the respawn teleport tab. Oh, I don't think there's a respawn teleport. Is there a respawn teleport tab? I'm not sure if that exists. But you can use respawn teleport in the Arceus spellbook to teleport tier to regear and to get your stats refreshed. So you, it's like have, being able to bank and get your stats refreshed all at one. And you can go out to another trip. It's awesome. It's really good stuff. Anyway, that's about it for me. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. You have a good one, boys.